Okay, here we go. Breaking the barrier here. Uh, I deal with four steps. Puzzle sequences are feel a little strange to me, like they're almost a distraction to the story, but I don't know. Maybe they have a higher purpose. Well, it's worth noting just what the memento is. Finally! He's always so impatient. Hey! Look what we have here! All the houses are finished! I bet they saw this cliff and I thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. Oh, there he is. Is he crying? This is Isabel. Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olive. They're your favorite, right? Apparently. That's gonna be one of the things. I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treated. With the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay her pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but I don't know how much this place means to her. She's gonna be heartbroken. I've helped, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you, you lot typicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that easy. Do you think this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, and I'm, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? 
I don't want to be alone, Isabel. That seems to be a common theme here, being alone. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. So Nicholas and Isabel, they are, I guess, family friends. Probably lifelong friends. I'm, I'm dying to see what this is. What is it? Oh, it's the, it's a book or a picture. But it's called Everything for Life. Ooh. <laughs> the pickle jar is memento. Of course it is. And the truck is one of the orbs. I don't want you to find anything down here. Just let's just go back. So we're up there. So maybe we can get into the unfinished house. And the house is the last one. What's this hammer? It's just a hammer. Okay, here's for you. Oh, I got this. This one's pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Pickled olives. Let's check on the notes first. Johnny's favorite. whole life backwards that's pretty crazy knowing where everything ends really puts a like puts everything in perspective so you guys are really going for it huh yep the construction starting in just a few months it's a bit of a squeeze we had to split this payment but with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding on the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news and a get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Ladies gotta talk. And dudes too. Well, buddy. It's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? 
That river is still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. Ha! <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? What is the, what is that sound? Oh hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. Huh. I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Yeah, well, that's why it's like really special that she made something different at the end. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes, and it's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this: I've known you since middle school. You're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually, when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of doubt. You're probably right. Probably, I'm always right, John. Something's amiss. Wait. So even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there are no mementos anywhere. Don't worry. We could probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Oh, I'm controlling Doctor Watts for once. Not yet. Is he eating pickled? Nah, this is a bar. Come on. Hey there. Could I get you anything? Hi. Could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure. Cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry. We don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. <laughs> Got no money. Wait, does this mean you have you don't have any money? You're so getting me said it. <laughs> hey there, could I get you anything? Hi, hello. Could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You got an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. All of them. Do we reset him immediately? And what? We just replace that? Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Oh, why? Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, you're a fellow olive lover. Indeed, I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure. Why don't you grab a seat? We'll look down the bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. Ah, you're gonna taste that. I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Oh ho! Ah, ah, ah! You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring this amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could 
why such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Oh, we're gonna savor this, all right? So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Just getting, just getting talkative. Can people actually get drunk on pickled olives? Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? I'll shut your mouth. Okay, let's check this out. Ah! That's a memento. I guess we can just... Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the books. Hog smash! Nail, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. I can't fault him for that. Okay, with this thing, I, I actually have a hard time telling which one is inverted. Uh, the ideal is four steps. Huh. Actually, I don't know about this one. Well, ideal is already out of the window. I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> It would be nice if we have these corners as well. Well, now we ruined everything. That took way too many steps. Still turning back. They look so young. Whoa, Cricky not crackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like twenty billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Jump down, it's not like we can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. 
You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear, if this... He jumped. Eva? What the... F? What the... Well, what? What? Where, where, where is he going? What's he doing? I bet he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Quit the other. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we can afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but... We'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning and night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here any time. She'd never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. So, Arya is the lighthouse? Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. Ah, oh, that's very philosophical. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. So Arya really is the lighthouse? Why? I mean, they got married here, but there's something else to it. Why do they care about the lighthouse so much? Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya. Yeah, the name's Anya. I gotta remember that, weren't they? I suppose so. But that river, she declined the treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. I've seen stranger things. That was supposed to be the lady. I'm not sure I'm making a, a distinction between them anyway. Me too, but uh, I could never wrap my head around it. It's more of, it's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. See if the note Anya, Anya's uh, lighthouse. Well, we got that mystery solved, but it raises so many more questions. That's them leading up here. It's crazy to be able to see the world like this. Maybe we can see like them getting off their cars. Car. I don't know why it's in cars, it's not like they're gonna be driving separate cars, that would be weird. But not impossible. Oh, well, we got all of them. But we don't have a memento yet. But maybe that's the car. Nope. We're about to be road killed and we still don't see a vehicle. Oh! That's, that's the memento, that's a... Is that a paper bunny or a like, real bunny? What are you looking at? Actually, repair. Oh, my most dreaded section. That <laughs> actually requires gameplay. Mm. How do I want to play this? How do I ruin this in five steps?
Ah, uh, if only we can do this diagonal. That would be so much easier. everything and then fix everything <laughs> clumps is the way of doing it river she start She's starting to make bunnies. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. Oh, this one is yellow, so it's a bit different. Has he gone to? New boxes of plain paper. Uh oh. I think I know where this is going. Well, they're all going to turn into rabbits, and I've seen worse usage of paper, so. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'll be a piece of cake for the, tr for the TARDIS. No, really, you can't even get it through this door. Hmm, true. Well that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the air is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get him inside. Ah, <laughs> they're both Doctor Who fans. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. I guess they can at least unite in their f fandom. Of Doctor Who, which I never watched. You went up for a haircut this early in the morning? Oh, she's making bunnies. Damn. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Oh, did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy? And? Well, it, 
it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. She seems disappointed. The wreck and strange river. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's? Do you? Let's just say it out loud. Perhaps who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. That's pretty cool, but yeah, what else can I do? Dustbin, many long strands of orange hair. She's losing hair, and this thing is always here. That's the memento. So this is the day she started it, huh? Okay. So is this making a rabbit thing a medical condition? So far, none of this has really any obvious relation to his desire to go to the moon. By the way, I may have started a bit too early. Oh, the picture is bigger this time, so it's like more difficult. Got it. Not bad. Back at the lighthouse. There's something eerie about all of this. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? Or rather, where the house will be. The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about the unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? He's afraid of heights. Uh, note, acrophobia. That's a worthy note to have. Something that Johnny and the River apparently didn't have. Leading me here. There they are. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not.
not too relevant now, but Easy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya said? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! But she's very jumpy. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Uh, actually, what was that about? That's the thing. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Got all five of them. So we're tracking the backpack. It's the same restaurant. Everyone with it is different, John. She's right here. I guess oh no, it's, it's not the same restaurant. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. And you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. It's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Easy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. Social norms? But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. Are they like... Unable to connect with reality? Or are they just... Uh, uh, they're, they're just clinging to a sense of apathy at all times? That's what I'm guessing. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. 
The Isabel the people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't a part of our business. Let's move. I'm still kind of struggling to understand what's being discussed here. Like, what specifically is the condition? She's she says she's been acting for her entire life. I'm thinking that's kind of a social apathy. Like. Really, not being able to care for anybody or anything, just being nonchalant all the time. But maybe that's why the lighthouse is so, so, for some reason, so important to her. Is that it is the only thing that has made her really care for anything. Okay, we're gonna follow Johnny here. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Empress' new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the、uh, Animorph series. I know your mother gave. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Eh, yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Huh? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Whoa! Oh, we got multiple Johnnies. Not yours. You're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River. This one's not that corny. River. This is how they're buying things. So everything we see in that house、uh, to, at the beginning of the game probably is something that River really cared about. He's pretty much living inside her memory. But what about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of.、Uh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um. I'm actually supposed to answer this. Hey, hang on a minute! How the hell do I know that? David, it's May Morph. So far, the animals that are important to the story are rabbits and rabbits and a platypus, but none of them are like five letters. I don't freaking know. I'll just. I bunny to see and see what's gonna happen. Probably mess this up. Wait. Oh, there's another. Uh, this is sixth letter, so it's probably rabbit. I can't just type it. That's kind of annoying. Nope, <laughs> I got a rabbi. There, re there really are only five letters. Okay, so what's wrong? So I'm just gonna type bunny. 
great. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Oops. Tobias, Hulk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? David is Cobra. Oh, uh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. So, why does she know that much about animorphs? Do you know what animal is David's main morph? I know now. I wonder if anybody ever tried anything comical with these five letters. I doubt there's anything else that's gonna get a different reaction. Oh yeah, a cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plane sheets. Those were cool. Okay, we got that down. For these two. The backpack is only gonna take us this far. Uh, maybe the bulk isn't the other one. It's the memento. The road would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. 